welcome to the Wittenberg Humanities Podcast. I'm here with Judith Hoff. Could you give a brief introduction of yourself and your position at Wittenberg? Sure. My name is Ruth Hoff, as I said, and I am an associate professor of Spanish here at Wittenberg. I'm also the chair of the Department of World Languages and Cultures. How does your position interact with the humanities? So that's a really interesting question. I think in terms of language teaching, there's two places that it really intersects. First, at the level of language, language learning, I think about the humanities as being understanding different tools for making meaning, especially as it refers to making meaning as humans. And so if you think about language as like the most basic tool for making meaning, to learn a second language really has you starting to think about that tool, which is really organizing our thinking, organized cognition. So at the level of language learning, that's one place I see the humanities as really central. The other place is also just learning about culture and um, the different values, traditions, the ways people express themselves through literature in different cultures. I think learning about those things in a second language is also another place that my work intersects with the humanities. What role do you see the humanities holding within the community? That's also, for me, a very intriguing question because I feel like the humanities can be found in all different places that we might even not even think about it. For example, think about different book clubs when people get together to talk about books they're reading, conversations where people talk about films they watch. Why do you think that the director ended the film that way? If people are having those kinds of conversations, there are people who are writing essays that you can read where people are thinking about different things. I think it's just, in a way, it's sort of an approach to the world, and so it can happen almost anywhere. And how can we increase the humanities presence in our community? I think maybe just talking about it more and helping people think about, well, what is this? that we're doing when we sit together and, and listen to poetry and or we talk about some of these ways that we tell stories and try to sort of think about how stories are put together, how the narratives of what we do every day, how those are put together. So I think some of it is just that talking about it to help people realize, oh, that's what the humanities are. Some of the things that I've been seeing lately happening where there are more public talks Mm -hmm. um, down in the library, more essays, public writing that people have access to through the newspapers, podcasts such as this. (laughs) This is a great contribution. (laughs) Yeah, I think those are some of the ideas I can think of. All right. Well, um, thank you again for taking part in our podcast. You're welcome. Um,